ladies and gents, we are joining a very talented driver friend of mine, Oliver James Webb. You guys maybe know him from Instagram, I'm sure you probably do. Now he is a hugely talented driver. He's won Le Mans in his category before. He's raced in pretty much every race category I can think of, driven an F1 car, done some awesome, awesome stuff. Sent me a text yesterday saying, do you want to join me at this place called Auto Vivendi, where I've never been before, and we can hang out there. So I thought I'd bring you along. No idea what to expect. Hopefully it will be a good day. You know what? I've actually noticed a change in the fuel consumption of this car since I've put the exhaust on. I don't know if it's because I drive it more aggressively now and it sounds better or if it's actually just a much worse consumption because I'm not doing too well at the moment. Let me see. I can probably get it up here. Yeah. Today I've done 12 miles to the gallon. 12. Not ideal used to be doing quite a bit more than that. I, you know what, I'm probably to blame. I'm probably just driving it a bit too aggressively, but I think the exhaust has an LT though. Right, so we've made it to Auto Vivendi, which I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at right now, which you're about to see, nut. Ollie was here a second ago. He had to go catch a train, so I just drove him to the train station and then came back here to film the rest of this, but he does say hi to everyone, and he was here when we filmed a little bit of a French video, so here's a little clip of that. Say bonjour Ollie, comment ça va? Tu veux... Ollie, hello, ça va? Ça, oh oui, il parle français, super. But yeah, anyways, make sure you follow Ollie on Instagram. He invited me over here and it's so, so cool. I've never been here before, but this is like a hidden warehouse in the center of London. So sick. So look, if I turn the camera, this, if the camera decides to focus, is what I am looking at. What an outstanding lineup right here. Yeah, I mean, we're going to run through all the cars. There was an 812 here a second ago, classic red 812, uh, but that's just gone out to a client. So Auto Vivendi is effectively like a club, a membership club where, so you pay your entrance fee and you get a certain amount of points and with those points you can use each one of these cars when you please and they're in central London but they will deliver them to you if you need so let's run through the cars that you know if you have your membership here you get access to and this is only some of them there's another huge warehouse with others which I don't know what's in there yet but uh, I'm sure there's some tasty stuff GT3 RS 991 Gen 2 you can tell by those vents there I quite like this spec actually I've never been a massive fan of green but this sort of uh, uh, what do you call it Kermit green um, is, is really really nice and I like the contrasting bonnet hood it's very very cool so you can tell from those air vents and then also from these little details around the wheels that um this is a gen 2 so you've also got round back look at this you've got these lights which are split and that's how you can tell it's a gen 2 as well and no this color is awesome the spec is very very cool i like the porsche finishing in gloss black on the wing now next to this you've got something pretty cool this is a 488 gtb but what makes this special is it's got matte paint so matte gray paint paint from factory uh, it's got the sort of dark black wheels as well and carbon finishes on those little logos on the wheels but that is a very expensive paint job from factory it's a really nice spec on this it's hard to tell with right because the carbon weave is so small but that is carbon there there's a lot of carbon options around the car uh, inside full carbon bucket seats really tasty spec on this 488 coupe then we got a vantage a new vantage this one doesn't have that much carbon it's got gloss black round front now you can have that in carbon but it's very very rare on these but a beautiful very sparkly gloss gray color there you go now that's focused you can see it a bit better it's a really nice color on that they actually it, it's quite cool to see both of these next to each other because you've got the very the most glossy gloss gray you could possibly have and then you've got a matte one right next to it now this is one of my favorites in here dbs super Leggera. these things look great and the cool thing is when you, you let's say you're a member here one thing that would attract me to it is you don't need to worry about the appreciation so a car like this you know is incredible but i would struggle to buy one just purely because of depreciation. But then when you're here, you don't need to worry about that. And you can make the most of cool little details like this, like the forged carbon Aston Martin logo, Super Leggera. This is obviously a DBS Super Leggera. Yeah, really nice carbon, very dark weave. So it probably looks gloss black on camera, but that's a carbon front splitter. You got the blacked out wheels and a beautiful dark blue color. Carbon on the mirrors, really, really nice spec. They really nailed the way this car looks and they sound pretty cool too. V12 twin turbo, but sounds really, really nice. Over 700 horsepower, awesome, awesome looking thing. We then got a uh, Wraith, so classic. This is a car that whenever you've got an event or some fancy black tie thing going on, that's the classic car that you'd take. Very classy spec on this, with the silver and the black with a cream interior. So sort of classic spec. Very nice, but apparently it's one of the cars that gets used the most, which is fairly unsurprising. And then, next to that, we've got this 720S Coupe. Now, pretty special spec on this. This, I believe, is Lantana Purple, which makes this probably about a 20 grand paint job on this car. Looks really cool, and it's got yellow finishes, like on the calipers, or 
floor in the interior, see, on the seats, the air vents, uh, little yellow finishes, mix of carbon, of um, Alcantara and leather, sorry, on the interior, and then it's also got a mix of both carbon, as you can see here, but then also this gray finish instead of like piano black. So it's kind of got half the carbon pack, similarly to another 720, which is there. But before that, we get onto this baby blue Performante, Hurricane Performante Spider. Really cool. I think it suits the car so well, this color. I really, really like this spec, actually. It's kind of like milky blue with a bit of green in it. It looks much more blue on camera than it does in real life right now. I really like these rims, these Performante rims. Really, really nice design. Now, it doesn't have that much carbon, this one, but it is a really nice color. It does have round back the forged carbon kit on all the Ala systems. So on the wing down here, gloss forged carbon, but then you've also got that round front on the splitter right there in the center part of the splitter. And the rest is just matte black. So that's a really, really nice looking car, actually. I really like these. And they've actually done the, uh, the plate placement really well. You see people putting them up on the side here. I think they've done that really well. It looks, it looks really, really nice. Now next to that, we then got a slightly more blue, but still baby blue 720S. This is another coupe. And as I mentioned, you've also got sort of half the carbon kit. So you've got this silver, well, gray finish here. But then on certain areas, you've got carbon there, carbon on the mirrors, and carbon round back here. So really nice sort of spec. They haven't gone too, too nuts on the carbon, but it looks really nice. The wing up on this, the aero button's been pressed, that massive wing that comes up under hard braking and serves as an air brake. These things do look very good, and it's quite, kind of cool being able to see the two different specs next to each other. One slightly darker, one a bit more showy. So you can take whichever one you're kind of in the mood for here. Both coupes, um, but I'm sure they do have a spider in the fleet as well. Now we will come back to this. We'll do these two at the end of the video. That's got a paint job which is worth over 100 grand on it. We'll talk about that in a second. First of all, this Aventador S Roadster. Really, really nice. Now, this one, even more so than the Performante, looks completely different in real life than what it does on camera. So it looks very blue. I'm sure you'll agree on camera. But in front of me right now, it's a very green tint turquoise. A beautiful color. It looks really, really cool. And this on the road, I'm sure would look awesome. But it's so funny. I don't know what it is that makes it look so different on camera. Really nice. Obviously, a 700 horsepower with these over 700 horsepower and yeah single clutch v12 naturally aspirated beast and it's got the two roof panels here because it is a roadster so those two come off individually and then you can slide them around front in the boot of the car which is actually popped open and they're awesome they sound great so that's a really really cool weekend car because you know again it's one that you probably wouldn't want to live with but if you can just take it out for the weekend that's perfect really nice dione uh, wheels they call those finished in silver very very nice then we got another mclaren this time a spider though and a 600 lt so the hardcore version of the sports series mclaren they've just released an even more hardcore version of this but these are very very nice and similarly to the dbs the good thing about this is you wouldn't have to worry about the depreciation on like the 720 or the 600 lt which have a reputation for tanking like a rock basically but you got fully black exterior red accents like on the calipers seat belts inside and it is a spider the thing i find coolest about these are these top exit exhausts really really nice very 918 kind of like and this is obviously a heat shield right there on the rear wing really nice spiders pretty new these 600 lt they're awesome to drive fantastic driver's car and they do sound really good this is very special so this is a vanquish zagato and it's like a shooting brake version of that very rare car about eight hundred thousand pounds i believe awesome awesome looking thing in this beautiful red absolutely stunning zagato do some amazing work and i've done some historic work with a lot of different car makers you can tell it's the zagato and that little z there carbon fiber all over the place i mean the whole roof i don't know if you can see that that is all carbon fiber absolutely stunning and these rear lights you can just about see it the cover's still a bit on are uh, awesome awesome looking so yeah i mean that's most of the lineup and then we get to these special beasts so we've got a Senna. So this is the normal, if you can call it that, Senna, but in this context, it does make sense. So about 500 of these made worldwide, which is why they decided to go a bit nuts with the spec here and go for this really cool paint job. So you've got three colors, actually. So you've got this silver, gloss, sparkly silver. Then you've got one shade of light baby blue and then a shade of turquoise. I don't know if you can see the difference there. So those three paint jobs all put together, that cost about 104,000 pounds just for the paint alone on this car. Obviously, you've got a lot of exposed matte carbon fiber as well. That is all carbon fiber there, all carbon fiber down here. And then as you go around the car, it's just sort of splattered all over the place right there on the mirrors, the side skirt, on the huge dining table wing with so much active aero. It is just so, so cool. The blue accents on the wing as well. And then the triple exhaust. A lot of people ask why some will have two exhausts, why some will have three. And that's actually because in the States, 
states, the regulations are different. So most of the cars in the states will have double exhaust, and then because you need um, uh, you know different regulations here, different emissions means you have the three exhausts in Europe and the UK. So that's pretty much it. I like the little accents on the rear diffuser as well. It looks really really nice. No, they've done an awesome job with the spec of this car. Now if this isn't hardcore enough, I mean it's got 800 kilograms of downforce, peak downforce. It's got so much power. Obviously very very light this car. I think it's around 1200 kilos. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But full carbon fiber beast. You've also then got right next to it. If you want something a bit more hardcore and you're a track guy, you then have this Senna GTR. Now this is an animal. Very very rare. And this is a track only car. Now there may be people who will be able to convert that to be road legal, but you also can have the option when you buy it to buy a set of slick tires, as demonstrated here. Really really cool looking. So hardcore. So you can tell compared to the Senna, having both of them next to each other. Look, for example, the front of it, the splitter is just enormous. I mean, you are not going over any speed bumps with that. The side carbon canards are huge as well. Everything's just big and looks so cool in this car. You got your little tow hook there. Uh, the color is really, really nice. Fairly simple spec on this. Blue, but a really nice shade of blue. So obviously everything is just more extreme. You can see the air that comes through here and then those little winglets finished in blue there to point it back up through the different aerodynamic details of the car. Right here, very almost Ford GT like front hood. Obviously no boot space in this or that really to to be fair and then yeah it is a very cool cut now look to open it you actually pull here because they got rid of all of the electrics in this and the door even though it is absolutely massive is so light it's unbelievable obviously full carbon as you can see on the interior of it it's absolutely full carbon in matte carbon fiber but what's cool is they've kept the glass here which must be pretty insane when you're going along on track you can see it on the other side right there so glass in the bottom half of the door really really nice now we'll come back to the interior in a second but round back i just want to show you if you thought the wing on the road legal version was big look at the wing on this it is enormous continues around side here so obviously that pushes the air through there sticking the car to the ground a bit more but it is just huge and little details like that opening there absolute work of art and this one's only got those two exhausts because obviously it doesn't care about emissions too too much if i squeeze around back you'll be able to see that better um but yeah Look at that, double exhaust, awesome looking thing. I mean, that view right there with the other one next to it is just insane. So obviously you've got a bunch more uh, details. It's obviously still got the plastic on it. As you can tell, that comes off. That's not, you know, finished like that normally. It's all carbon under there. When you sit in this driver's seat, that is what you'll see in a P1, in your, sorry, not P1, a Senna GTR, sir. That is your view. You've obviously got a Formula One-like steering wheel where you can adjust all things like, and this is obviously automatic manual, this button here. I think this is your traction control setting. I'm learning as we go. I mean, what do we have? Torque, that's your radio. You've got DRS, units, aux. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think that's what we think it is. You got the launch control button. Yeah, I mean, so many details. And then, of course, flappy paddles to a double clutch gearbox, I believe. Now, completely redone dashboard, full race spec dashboard. And then over here, it's, it's just so intense, so serious. I mean, your hazard lights are there, engine oil. I mean, it is it, just insane. You got obviously a fire extinguisher there and then these pretty cool looking uh, seats. So full carbon fiber, obviously, and they just look pretty intense, don't they? You're not going anywhere in a hurry in and out of this car. No carpets, obviously no luxuries in this. It is fully stripped out for the racetrack and just looks so, so sick. I mean, imagine driving around track with that. I like the little air scoop as well on the roof. But yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it. This is the millionaire's toy that you can have access to through Auto Vivendi. And this is not by any means a paid ad, by the way. I just think it's really cool, the service they're offering. So I thought I would, I would chat about it. Uh, I just came here to see Ollie and then showed up and I was like, oh, damn, okay, there's a lot of very, very cool cars here. So comment down below, which one is your favorite? And because there is plenty to choose from. And let me know, I'm really interested. Obviously, in the most extreme is that Senna back there. But there's a really, really cool selection of cars in interesting specs. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna hop back into the R8 now and head home. But I just thought I'd give you a really simple, really raw tour of all these cars, my thoughts, and uh, let me know if you enjoyed it and we can do more of these videos. But that view behind me, absolutely not. Take care guys, see you again very, very soon. Hope you're all doing well. Give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it does help the channel. And I'll see you soon, bye-bye.